my students, we meet again for our online lesson. So for this week would be uh, topic plans, the same topic as well, but uh, there are many subtopics in this topic. So I'm going to continue for part 5 and part 6 for this week, okay? So this video will be about part 5. Okay, so in this video, uh, I am going to uh, explain about, about flowers, okay? Uh, we're going to learn about the structure of flowers. What are the parts and also um, the function of each part? Okay, so in this topic, everyone is required to remember each name of the parts in the flower, all of these parts. This knowledge is not only important for checkpoint, it is only it is also important for IGCSP too. Okay, so please uh, keep that in mind. So now let's start. Okay, you have uh, the picture of the flower here. Uh, as you can see, the flowers are all brightly colored. Okay, so many flowers are brightly colored like this. Why are flowers so colorful? Okay, the reason why, because it is to attract insects and birds. They do this because the insects and birds help the plants to reproduce. The flowers are the reproductive organs of the plants. Okay, so like us, plants also have their own reproductive organ. Uh, for human, we have learned um, the human reproductive system topic in the eight syllabus. We do learn about the male and female systems, right? Uh, for plants also, they do have the male and female system too. Okay, so let's look at the parts of the flower. Uh, as what we observe, as what we know, flowers come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. But you can usually find the same part in most flowers that you, that you look at. So all of the flowering plants, they will have petal, stamen, sepal, ovule, ovary, style and stigma. So the thing that makes us, um, the thing that makes female a female, the female human, the same as the female flower is they have the ovary. So ovary is the reproductive organ for females, be it human, be it flower. Okay, so let's look at uh, the petals, the function of the petals. Why is petals are the most colorful one? Okay, petals are usually the most colorful parts of the flower. Why? Because they attract insects or birds to the flower. Okay, like us too, we human, we enjoy seeing colorful things. We enjoy seeing beautiful, beautiful things. Same goes to insects and animals too. They will be attracted to the brightly colored flowers. So that's why the, the petal of the of most flowering plants they are all they are all striking, very bright in color. Okay? Uh, some of them they produce scent. What is scent? It is smells, in which also help to attract insects. Okay? Um, this one is more to like um, the what is for example uh, the rose flower. They do have a very sweet and very pleasant smell. Even us women also enjoy the smell of roses. Uh, insects and birds also like that. Okay, they are being attracted by the scent of the flower. So how do they um, smell this flower? Uh, the, the scent of this flower. So usually, uh, the wind helps to uh, spread the scent of the flower all around. So the wind will help uh, the birds and the insects to smell the flower from distance. So these animals, they will follow where the smell is and it will locate them to the location of the flower. Okay, so um, um, uh, one more thing uh, also about that, the insects or birds feed on sweet sugary nectar produced at the base of the petals. Some of them also eat pollen produced in the anthers. Okay, the pollen contains the male gamete of the flower. Okay, uh, one thing about uh, apart from the having a uh, sweet scent, sweet smell, um, the smell is also com uh, coming and attracting insects and birds on the nectar. Okay, so that's the main reason why the insect and bird go to flowers because they want to feed. Uh, uh, in the same time, uh, on the same time, uh, they are feeding and also helping. The flowers to pollinate, okay, help to spread um, the um, the pollen grains produced by the anther. 
Thank you. So where can you find the female gametes? Just now, in this uh, uh, paragraph, it said the pollen grain is actually um, is the part that contains the male reproductive uh, cells, which is produced in the anther. So where is the anther? Here. Anther is this part. So inside the anther, it is um, uh, it is the place where the pollen is found. Okay, so what about the female parts, the female gametes in the flower? Where can we find them? So the female gametes are found inside the ovules, which is inside the ovary. So inside the ovary, this whole uh, circle thing is the ovary, you can find the ovule. So inside the ovule would be the male, eh, sorry, the female gametes. Okay, so unlike animals, many plants produce both male and female gametes. Okay, so um, there is a name to to differentiate uh, between the male and female reproductive parts in the flower. For male parts, the anther and filament it is uh, under the stamen group. Okay, stamen. Stamen referring to male reproductive part. The other group, the other name for the uh, female reproductive part is all of this, uh, starting from stigma, style, ovary, and ovule. We call them as pistil. Okay, so the textbook does not include that. Okay, pistil. Okay, everyone. So uh, that's it for part five. Uh, I'll continue again my lesson in part six. Okay, see you.